So what do we have here? Um, it's a Humor B534, 75 horsepower, 2.5 liters. It's a Fiat Ducato engine um, without the turbo diesel. Badly, sadly. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But pretty reliable. So many people told me that this engine is so reliable and it's gonna last pretty much forever and if you see the case later um, you're gonna be surprised yeah it's all right I'm at a, at a countryside here beautiful <laughs> I'm gonna say hello next let's jump to the gas bottles um, I have two 11 kg gas bottles with the Truma dual control yeah pretty handy but um, what I don't have, and maybe you should check it as well if you have one of these, is I don't have the one with the, um, what is it called, CS, with the crash sensor, which means that you can also leave the gas on, like, uh, yeah, on um, if you're on the road. Usually you always have to, you know, turn everything off and close the gas bottles. Um, yeah, so I don't have to crash sensor, which means that if there, if I have an accident and the gas is on, well, it's yeah probably it's gonna catch fire. So, and the crash sensor ones, um, um, other ones that you can just leave on while you're on the road. So I don't have that one. But anyway, just turn the gas off, and then that's pretty much it. Yeah, next, <laughs> what else? Entry step manual, as you can see, it's not leveled, still need to fix that. Um, seems like the lady had a little crash before that. Um, chimney of the, of the fridge, this is the back of the fridge. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, power. For inside for lamp power oops for lamp power nothing special and yeah I have this little ramp here for e-bikes or you can also put a scooter or motorbike on it like some um, you can it's can hold on to 120 kilograms but yeah I don't really use it I don't even bike at the moment so but I just want to get one yeah, it's not, I gotta be honest, it's sometimes it's a bit hard to drive or reverse with that one because it's, yeah, as you can see, it's pretty long and I don't have a reverse cam up there. I just have one down there, um, right, where's my finger, there. But anyway, and on this side, what do we have? Uh, yeah, water intake. Um, it's from the Truma, from from the gas heater, the toilet, and this is uh, you can get the the bathroom hose out, the shower head, so you can have a shower outside. Oh yeah, so we ran into my mirror. Beautiful. Anyway, so I didn't do much outside. Yeah, just give it a clean yesterday. Look how beautiful it looks. So, um, yeah, we should jump inside. It's a bit more interesting, I would say. Let's go. Here we are inside. I'm just going to give you a quick look around. It's back. And that's the front. So, yeah, let's start at the front. What I've done so far, well, as you can see, first of all, and I'm still loving it. It's the new carpet on the dashboard. Um, I choose this color. Um, I went to the shop to get a new one. They used the old one as a template to make the new one. And I decided to go for Interside. It was pretty expensive here in Germany. Um, yeah, I don't know what it's like in other countries. Um, if you're from around Europe, maybe you should just ask ask at a chop how much it is um yeah and what we also did me and my brother and me is we 
I've made this board new underneath, new foam underneath. Um, there is another video I can can put the link in the description. Um, yeah, and also that's a bit complicated with the tripod here. Let me put it by the side. And also here underneath the seats. How do you call this again? Hook and loop tape is it? Um, yeah, and that's just gonna hold uh, the carpet in place. So because the old one, I think it was double-sided tape, and I didn't want to use that anymore. So if I just want to take the carpet off, and there you go. Yeah, it's not even really. Yeah, but it's well pretty easy to take off. Yeah, and that's pretty much it at the front. Well, I still want to get some new seat covers. I really don't like this kind of old school 70, 90, 80 style, whatever. I mean, yeah. So, actually, just to let you know, guys, know if you have the same seats, so I don't know, you say in English, but Isri, we say Isri. Um, there is a German shop where you can get the right ones for your chair I sent them an email and they answered me sent me the right right link for my one for for my seats and yeah I wanted them I want to order them next month they're also pretty expensive but I'm pretty sure it's even more expensive if you need to get the seats out and then reupholster everything so they're like 100 I think 160 euros for both seats um yeah with everything i mean yeah i want to have it because i can't see it anymore and they're pretty much um in my kind of the style i want to have like gray grayish um i used to go with this kind of anthracite grayish black style yeah oh yeah on this side i painted the cup holder thing uh anthracite as well and that's it. Even my mat, they have the same color. Even on the step, I bought this little piece. I had to cut it, and then I put. I think I put some zip ties on there. I think it's just. Uh, I just put some good tape on it, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, with my new mouth for the bathroom. Pretty nice. Alrighty, but let's jump right into the bag and look at this well okay as you can see you can still see those kind of spots on this table i need to still need to do that it's okay for now so what do we have here we have um my guest stuff yeah nothing special I didn't do anything here and my sink and yeah that's pretty much it by the way i changed my um the pump the water pump to have a bit higher pressure as you can see it's super super good pressure it's well it's good here but the bathroom well the shower is not the best i still don't know why but it's better than before yeah and now very very important topic the fridge the absorption fridge uh, i showed it in the other video and someone already asked about it is I took that one out, put it upside down, and waited for like, I don't know, I left it like this for a week. Usually they say you just need to leave it upside down for like, uh, yeah, a day or so. And um, I also changed the, the, uh, the thermal paste behind the heatsink. The reason why you're doing it is if you have the feeling that yours, like your absorption fridge, if you if, if you have a humor that's pretty old and if you have the feeling that it's not cooling down properly, get a fridge out, put it upside down, new heat paste, uh, thermal paste behind the heat sink. And that should kind of, kind of, well, fix it. Well, at least help a bit. I have to say mine works awesome now. There's just one more thing I need to do and that's also really important you have your this is the chimney and this is the back of the fridge I mean there's nothing behind it just the fridge and all the pipes and stuff like that 
if it gets too hot outside like a couple of weeks ago we had 35 degrees in Germany and if it got gets too hot then the fridge cannot really cool down anymore so what most of the people do is they take this out put a fan behind it with a thermostat and if it gets hot then the, th the fan is going to turn on and you know kind of blows out the hot air and warm air and then your fridge is going to cool down probably again so it's it's a kind of yeah well actually a thing you should do if you travel to countries like Spain, Italy, Portugal, whatever I would suggest you to do that because otherwise you're gonna have uh, warm beer in your fridge and I'm pretty sure you guys don't want it or wine for the ladies all right that's um, for the fridge and yeah look at this back so the cushions were pretty much the same kind of color style like the seats and I really have to say I was super lucky because uh, one of my friend's mom she reupholstered all the cushions for me and the original ones are still underneath she just put some new zippers on them like look how she did it it's like perfect like seriously I was super happy I left the old ones underneath because they have this kind of extra foam on them that makes them super comfy so I decided just to leave them like that and then just put the new ones on top yeah so if I need to wash them then I can just take them out wash them and that's pretty much it and yeah and as you can see I painted table white as well and the legs entry side yeah, but you can see those spots. Oops, you can see those spots here and there. But yeah, it is what it is. I don't mind at the moment. Yeah, and bought some extra uh, pillows here as well. And um, still the old curtains. I didn't buy any new curtains. That are the original ones, the Humo original ones. Uh, I have to say, I kind of like the color. It, it kind of fits into everything I have around. And um, yeah, other than that. I didn't paint it any of the shells, whatever. I just left the original color. Um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely not my favorite one, but yeah, it is what it is. I just want to leave it like that. And yeah, to the Trumo, I also spray painted that one. I gave the fan behind that one a little clean and stuff like that. Uh, that one also works fine um, Yeah uh, Here I have a little kind of clock with the With the temperature in and outside and it's pretty handy. So I Always have I always know What kind of temperature it is outside? And let's jump right into my bathroom, but before that I need to get something uh, by the way there was just a beard <laughs> so good day yeah I haven't done much here I just bought a new shower head and that's it I still want to do the walls for sure like um, get like a fall I can put on just put on top also like grayish and I'm just gonna leave that one white I might also do uh, paint this one white here this kind of shower thing here yeah but I mean at the moment it's okay it's okay for now but that's pretty much it for the bathroom alrighty guys um that's it for the room tour. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to send me a message. There are so many people who sent me some messages and they have questions about this and that. I don't mind to answer if I know if I know like the answer. I'm not an like like an expert. I just started this kind of RV thing. So yeah, just uh, flick me a message if you want to know more stuff about the humor. Especially this model, the B 
five, three, four. Fiat engine. Well, they also have the uh, this one with the Mercedes engine, and I, th I, don't, I think even with with the Peugeot engine, but I'm I'm not hundred percent sure. Alrighty. Anyway, see you next time. Subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. There will be made. And stay safe. Peace out.